Yo, what's up YouTube? It's getting pretty apocalyptic out there. I'm not like walking around naked in the apocalypse, but mental health is something that a lot of people are struggling with right now. I think most humans in the world right now have anxiety surrounding this. Um, some people are in denial, but you know, that's also like anxiety related too, I think. I mean, I don't know, I don't know you. Today in this video, I'm talking about ways to stay sane during isolation, quarantine, whatever type of thing you have. In LA right now, we have uh, no dining in at restaurants. There's no entertainment places open anymore. Grocery stores close at like 8 p.m. Pharmacies are still open. Really the only things that are open are things that we need to survive and everything else is closed. Um, there's no gatherings anymore. There's nothing and it's not safe. Like it's definitely not safe at all. Like the best thing that we could do right now is to stay inside. And yes, it like is boring. Like learn a new skill, learn an instrument, learn a language. There's tons of apps that you could like learn things on. So let's get to it. Ways that I'm staying sane during the apocalypse. Okay, first thing I'm doing is I'm, I've been meditating every single day. I use an app called Headspace. There's tons of apps like it. I'm not sponsored by them, but I just love the app. And I love that it gives you like a counter of your streak. So that helps me a lot to keep meditating every day. So that's been something that's super calming for me. I have been listening to a lot of music as well as playing music. And I like to make playlists on Spotify. I just made one today. It's, um, it's called Quarantine and Jam. Um, it's a little funny, but you know, this thing is like, this thing is serious, but you know, whatever's gonna help your mental health right now, like do it. Writing has also helped me a lot. Writing songs, journaling a little bit, it helps. Right now it's raining, unfortunately, but when it's not been raining, I've been walking my dog a lot. I've been trying to be outside as much as possible. Like as soon as I see that there's a break in the rain, I run out there and I walk my dog because that is definitely helping me stay physically active and just being outside makes me feel a little less uh, isolated. You know, I see my neighbors walking around too. Some of us say hi, we wave at each other. Me and Jeffrey have matching raincoats, so people think it's cute and some people stop to say, oh, that's really cool. Uh, yesterday I also skateboarded, which was awesome. Another thing for physical activity also just made the world feel normal for a second. And that was really uplifting, um, you know, and it gives an adrenaline rush. So that helped me a ton as well. I've been talking on the phone to a lot of people, checking in with people, you know, like even if you feel like you're doing okay in the moment, call some other people, see how they're doing. Communicating with people, staying in contact, staying social in some way is super important. Uh, cooking also helps, cook some meals, like try cooking things that you've never cooked before. Save your leftovers, don't throw away any food. It's hard to get to grocery stores and like, if you don't wanna wait on a long line for things that you don't really need or usually buy because there's nothing left, save your leftovers, put stuff in the freezer. Cleaning, I've been cleaning my house a lot. I've been vacuuming, vacuuming, like it makes me feel good. Uh, so I vacuumed, I even vacuumed my stairs today, which is awesome. Also organizing, organize your closets, like, Go in your closets and like get rid of all those clothes that you didn't want, throw them in a drop box, donate them somehow or save them to donate them, put them in bags. But you know, now we have the time to do all this stuff. Reading books also helps. I've also been reading books on the phone with people, which has been just, it builds community also. I've been Skyping with people too, that looking at someone, getting that connection, Skype, FaceTime, whatever, that definitely helps a lot. Walks, me and my friend have been meeting up every night and we've been walking. We are walking like six feet away from each other, but it's really quiet out and we could hear each other from six feet away. And that has been like, I've looked forward to that every day and it's good to have some sort of routine right now. So like, I've still been waking up and taking a shower, putting on clothing, like regular clothing. I'm not like walking around naked in the apocalypse, but um, yeah, I've been putting on clothing. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in as normal of a routine. I've noticed that I like, I don't care what time I go to bed because there's nothing to wake up for, but like have some sort of routine, showering, whatever it is, like just have some sort of routine, whether it's like you wake up and you exercise every morning or you wake up and you meditate every morning, like have some routine to keep some kind of consistency in your life that is essential to mental health. Other things, are uh, exercising, like I've, I have dumbbells here and I also have a, a, a bike pedal thing, which is right under me, so I've been doing that. Um, I've actually been doing that a lot today, which is why I'm a little out of breath, that and excessive vacuuming, but whatever. 
watching Netflix. I watched Taylor Swift's documentary, which was pretty cool and relatable, so that was cool. Um, there's a ton of stuff on there. I mean, you could stay busy forever on there. And just staying in constant communication with people. Like, none of us are alone in this. We're all going through a really hard time right now. Anxiety is off the wall right now for everyone. And just know that you are not alone in your feelings. Like, we are all literally in this together, even though we are isolated separately we are in this together so stay in contact with people self quarantine quarantining i think is good like the less time we are out in places like you know even in the grocery store and stuff the, the let the more you could avoid that stuff we will um be able to get this thing under control quicker so you know it's this corona challenge thing of like going out and like going to parties and bars is like it's dumb to me like quarantine because okay maybe you won't be affected but like old people could be really affected like think about your grandparents think about your parents think about people that you really love you know think about those people because when you're, you're deciding to go out to like be tough and brave for the corona challenge like you are putting other people at risk um so if you want to go out go outside do not go within like six feet of people like let's let's be smart here you know let's do the best we can so yeah listen to positive music uplift your vibes play music read whatever you want to do you could rewatch this to get the ideas back in your head but whatever you do stay safe wash your hands and yeah i'll see you when we get out of this on tour hopefully all right peace